I'm Danny Dixon. I'll be reading from my upcoming novel, Precedent, Chapter 1. An old truck rambled past an empty billboard overlooking wild yellow jasmine. At one point, the billboard advertised a near, nearby bed and breakfast. The B&B has long since closed down and the land repurposed for a truck weighing station. No one bothered, however, to change the landscaping. Though perhaps, after hours in sweaty, fast-filled fast food filled cabs the truckers appreciated the scent as they made their way down the ramp for a pause in what seemed like endless traverses of asphalt the pickup truck was old, too old to be new yet not old enough to be a classic japanese made american re-engineered very little work had been done to the outside over the years at least not cosmetically there were new tires of course a replaced windshield but the latter was more to keep out the summer heat than any attempt to be trendy the paint was mostly blue, but also red in parts, not for any patriotic leanings, because it had at one point scraped along a red barn for more than 20 feet. The, track, the truck ran well, which was ironic on this particular night. The driver's dismissal of the back road's speed limit was in vain. The man the driver was racing toward was already dead. The truck pulled up in front of a single wide trailer in the middle of, an, of arbitrarily high grass. On a normal night, the driver would be concerned about snakes, a well-founded fear from childhood when a game of hide and seek landed him in the hospital for nearly three weeks after two bites from a cane break rattlesnake. But tonight he marched steadily through the flora with no thought of the local predatory fauna. The body was on the bed in the back room. It was naked and grimacing. Standing in the corner was a woman in her late thirties. Her cheap makeup had probably started running before the hysterical crying had begun. A little sweat and foreplay had no doubt been sufficient. But now she resembled a roadside carnival clown an hour after all the children had gone home. She wore a thin green, elmo green robe over an even shorter lime green teddy. It was likely meant to be sexy, possibly even sophisticated. She shivered in it. She grasped the robe and kept pushing down the edges as though she could make the fabric grow. Where are his pants? The driver asked. 